Mangroves are trees found in coastal habitats in the tropics. They are salt tolerant plants growing in soft sediment between the land and sea. Mangroves provide many important services to humans. Their rock resistant wood is useful for fuel and construction and their roots protect the coast from erosion caused by hurricanes and storms. They are also ecologically important and provide habitats to a variety of species. Their dense root systems act as a nursery for young fish before they become adults and migrate to coral reefs. Their branches provide shelter and nesting sites for birds such as the little green heron. And in the murky sediments beneath the mangroves you will also find the mangrove upside down jellyfish. These curious jellyfish spend most of their lives lying upside down, only turning the right way up to move to a different spot in the mud. You will often see them pulsing their bell margin. One of the main reasons they do this is to increase the flow of water over their upward facing arms, enabling them to absorb food and oxygen. We studied these upside down jellyfish in a creek on the Bahamian island of Eleuthera. We were looking to see if the jellyfish pulse their bow more frequently in warmer waters where oxygen content is lower. We observed jellyfish in their natural habitat, measuring the temperature of the water and the number of pulses per minute. We also took jellyfish into the lab and measured their pulse frequency in three different temperature controlled water baths. Our study found that these jellyfish do indeed pulse significantly more frequently in warmer water. With global temperatures on the rise, scientists are becoming increasingly interested in studying how species will adapt to climate change. The mangrove upside down jellyfish is of particular interest because it is capable of producing large jellyfish blooms which can disturb their habitat and decrease tourist appeal. If these jellyfish are able to adapt to warmer waters, as suggested in our study, these blooms may become a bigger problem as global temperatures increase. Since mangroves are such important tropical ecosystems, it is essential that we understand how climate change will affect the species living within them. This knowledge will help us in our conservation efforts to ensure that places like the Bahamas do not lose their unique flora and fauna.